Let us offer higher education as our war memorial. To honor those who took part in the great war. To the glory of those gallant fighters who came through. And to the memory of those devoted heroes who gave their lives in the cause of freedom. Now, every material asset a person possesses may flee. Education alone is an asset of which an individual cannot be robbed. University of Leicester, educating and inspiring for a century. Our first two years at Leicester from 1960 were involved in studying X radiation from the sun. Our priorities changed dramatically in 1962 with the discovery of a bright source in the night sky. For the following few years, we flew rockets from Australia and found more than a dozen of these strange nighttime X ray sources. To find out what they were, we really needed a satellite and then Aerial 5 came along and gave us that opportunity and we were fortunate to find an incredibly bright source, the brightest ever seen, which subsequent observations have found to be a very good candidate of a stellar black hole. I was invited as a human osteologist to come down and get involved with a project that was looking for Richard but was probably going to unearth the remains of a medieval friary. The thing that I think this project taught me more than anything else was about the humanity of Richard III and what finding his skeleton let us do was to realise just how much more complicated the reality really is. When you're an archaeologist, your work isn't always self-evidently exciting to the public, but this gave me a real opportunity to work on something that people genuinely connected with, people genuinely wanted to know about, and that was a really rewarding experience. I came to Leicester in 1977. I just fell in love with the place. It was that atmosphere of complete academic freedom. The biggest breakthroughs in science are those that come completely unexpected. DNA fingerprint is a very good case in point. Science tries to get it right all too often gets it wrong. Your job is to try and sort it out. It was after a lot of false starts, completely by accident, we came up with our very first DNA fingerprint. So that was on the 10th of September, 1984. And that was a moment that changed my life. Our work is dedicated to discovering new ways of responding to hate crime. We live in a world where, sadly, levels of hate crime are escalating year in, year out. And what we do is that we try to provide the evidence to help those agencies respond more effectively to victims of hate crime. To discover everything that we possibly can about their experiences of hate crime, the emotional and physical harms of hate, and what they want to see in terms of a response to hate crime. So for me, that's the only way of ensuring that our research can genuinely make a difference.
Welcome to the University of Leicester Summer Degree Ceremonies for the College of Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities. The ceremony will begin when the academic procession enters the hall. Guests are permitted to take photos and videos, but are kindly asked to remain in their seats throughout the ceremony. Please ensure that any smart devices are in silent mode. You can share your photos and videos on social media using the hashtag LeicesterGrad. We hope you enjoy the ceremony. And on behalf of the University of Leicester family, a huge congratulations to our classes of 2020 and 2021. If you do not wish to shake hands with the presiding officer, please hold your brochure in your hand as you cross the stage. Please stand for the academic procession.
Professor Liz Jones, Pro Vice Chancellor of Education, will now open the ceremony. As Pro Vice Chancellor of the University, and by the authority of the Senate and the Council, I declare this congregation open for the celebration of degrees conferred in 2020 and 2021 on those present. A warm welcome to you all, and now please be seated. Lord Mayor, dignitaries, graduates and guests, hello and welcome. I'm delighted to welcome you to our summer graduation ceremony and to welcome you back to the University of Leicester. This is a memorable occasion in many respects and we're all delighted to be marking this occasion with you. Achieving a university degree is an important milestone in any person's life. But what you have achieved, what all of the graduates sitting here today have achieved, is truly remarkable. You have lived through one of the most tumultuous periods in our university's history, a global pandemic that changed the world and kept changing the world in front of our very eyes. As you coped with sudden changes, with lockdowns, with hybrid learning, and sadly, in some cases, with serious pain and personal loss, each and every one of you has proven yourself to be adaptable, resilient, and successful. The applause you will receive today is particularly richly deserved. We're nearing the end of our centenary year here in Leicester, and I want to end my opening remarks by recalling the words of one of the university's founding fathers, Dr. Astley Clark. Writing in the aftermath of the First World War, he said, every material asset a person possesses may flee. Education alone is an asset of which an individual cannot be robbed. You have all achieved something, an asset, which is yours to keep for the rest of your lives. I look forward to congratulating you on your wonderful achievements. Thank you. Pro Vice Chancellor, on behalf of the College of Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities, I, Professor Sally Kidd, present the following graduates for recognition of their awards. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Claire Bessant. Stavrula Kalopsidiotou. Anne-Marie Manjon. Jean-Claude Misenga. Onyeka Nwoha. Aristi Volu. For the degree of Master of Philosophy, Katerini Kazu. For the degree of Master of Laws, Isma Ayub. Samantha Nguyen.
for the degree of Master of Laws in Employment Law, Byron Taylor. For the degree of Master of Laws in Employment Law, EU and International, Sandra Rohrbach. For the degree of Master of Laws in International Human Rights Law, Jasmine Blow. <laughs> Juliette Kamau. <laughs> Mercy Tuan. <laughs> Oliver Wilson. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law, Ayman Abdul Harris. <laughs> Falabomi Adayoye. <laughs> Nadine Adayemi. <laughs> Junaid Afsal. <laughs> Nuliana Ahmad Zaini. Abdul Akhtar. <laughs> Bria Alexander. <laughs> Theodora Alexandru. <laughs> Amna Ali. <laughs> Sara Ali Mohammed. Omar Aljanadi, <laughs> Ratib Aljanadi, <laughs> Trisha Ali, <laughs> Zaina Al Said. Malu Andriasen. <laughs> Kahila Angeles. <laughs> Esther Ankama. <laughs> Dillis Ansong Bimpong. <laughs> Grace Er Egbari Sola. Oluwatimi Lihin Arikawe. <laughs> Olutoni Arolet Lorje. <laughs> Arthur Asif. <laughs> Leia Asmal. <laughs> Anna Asumadu. Maroya Ayemi. <laughs> Bianca Azimi. <laughs> Godfrey Bagtas. <laughs> Kayon Bailey. <laughs> Mary Hurt Bano. Neve Barnes. <laughs> Fraser Barnstable. <laughs> Abra Belhag. <laughs> Amber Berry. <laughs> Simran Bandal. <laughs> Ashika Burton. Solomon Borokini. <laughs> Timothy Brooks. <laughs> Matthew Brown. <laughs> Sauncha Gay Bryan. <laughs> Lauren Buckley.
Amberly Cam. Phoebe Chadburn. Lawrence Chapman. Shivani Chowler. Hoi Chung. Sanjida Chowdhury. Mikaela Christoforu. Andrea Christu. Lucia Cole Dyer. Lauren Collins. Alexander Cook. Olivia Cooper. Ryan Kaur. Hamitha Dabiri. Madison Daniels. Rebecca Delano. Rosham Desai. Kieran Desi. Dikshita Deer. Faith Deary. Congratulations. Hannah Dixon. Congratulations. Eve Donahoe. Congratulations. Holly Dorgan. Latavia Douglas. Congratulations. Sophie Douse. Congratulations. Jack Dykes. Congratulations. Aliza Asan. Congratulations. Edisua Eke. Chiamaka Ekiozo. Ahmad El Rufai. Yumna Fayaz. Alice Follett. Samantha Fox. Hayda Fraz. Congratulations. Lauren Gallagher. Congratulations. Edwin Gallego Serrano. Congratulations. Sonia Gandhi. Congratulations. Grace Garner. Matsvita Katawa. Congratulations. Cory Gerard. Congratulations. Sophia Gooman. Congratulations. Imran Girach. Congratulations. Yishu Go. Kirsty Gregson. Congratulations. Dawn Gear. Congratulations. Oliver Haig. Congratulations. Joshua Hearn Collins. Congratulations. Chloe Helps. Yasmin Hobro. Congratulations. 
Congratulations. Mark Holland. Congratulations. Jennifer Hopkins. Congratulations. Amy Hunt. Congratulations. Ayomida Idowu. Congratulations. Deborah Ikoku. Adadeo Ipeye. Roberta Jackson. Samuel Jackson. Bushra Jalil. Gurdeep Janda. Alicia Jan Mohammed. Sage Jethwa. Amina Jimo. Junita Johal. Christy John. Brooke Johnson. Olu Bukonla Jones. Anusha Joshi. Hannah Jowett. Harrison Jowett. Charlotte Joyce. Nabil Junjua. Nikhil Cabrera. Yasmin Kagabo. Shalina Kapadia. Sharon Kaur. Monique Kaur. Simra Jort Kaur. Grace Kempton. Aisha Khan. Numa Kanom. Myra Kiyama. Congratulations. Jacqueline Kodua Amuoka. Congratulations. Alexander Kutas. Congratulations. Karish Maladwa. Congratulations. Shazana Lakdalawa. Karishma Lander. Congratulations. Chloe Lashley. Congratulations. Miriam Latif. Congratulations. Catherine Lacourt de Billo. Congratulations. Eric Liang. Sin Lim. Congratulations. Samia Mahmood. Congratulations. Eric Major. Congratulations. Kira McKenzie. Congratulations. Juliet McKeema. Scott Marshall. Congratulations. Aisha Mariam. Congratulations. Kira Matthews. Congratulations. 
Daniel McGlashan. Sybil Mensa Jaby. Grace Menzel. Maya Mystery. Labu Modwadia. Tanisha Mohammed. Sadila Mutum Bin Ai. Dana Mudhu. Liam Liam Mugwanya. Joseph Makozo. Ethan Murray. Armina Musa White. Jeevan Magra. Abdul Wahed, sorry, Abdul Wahed Nasib. Fahim Nasir. Julia Norrocker. Panash Nemararuru. Alea Nessa. Ruby Newman. Chidia Berin Metcher. Chike Lu of Ulu. Taiwo Ogunbiyi. Oluwa Pami Lairin Ogundele. Rachel Ogunjimi. Lucy Okafor. Brian Okorocha. Jade Oliver. Iman Ornor Fekul. Tara Ormsby Draper. Wala Osman. Deborah Owusu. Abigail Owusu Ankruma. Joy Oye Wole. Munira Patel. Lewis Phillips. Paris Phillips Morris. Manoj Rajasri. Lamisha Rana. Christos Raunas. Jazim Ali Rafi. Abigail Richardson. Helen Ring. Chelsea Rosak. Megan Rowe. Layla Saeed. Magali Saintus. Congratulations. 
Aman Samra. Congratulations. Gina Preet Sandhu. Congratulations. Farah Shah. Congratulations. Matthew Sharp. Sikul Shorish. Congratulations. Jaya Sahal. Congratulations. Alawadami Lola Samade. Congratulations. Prakriti Sumai. Congratulations. Liridonas Bahija. Mitchell Thackra. Congratulations. Nikisha Thakur. Congratulations. Amy Thomas. Congratulations. Molly Tomlinson. Congratulations. Jasmine Tawasi. Harriet Turner. Congratulations. Kavya Vaishnav. Congratulations. Rodotha Vasiliadi. Congratulations. Chiara Vigneri. Congratulations. Sam Walker. Jefferson Ramono. Congratulations. Emily Webb. Congratulations. Christopher Wilkinson. Congratulations. Clara William. Congratulations. Lauren Windsor. Asherwood. Congratulations. Joey Jin E. Congratulations. Abby Yates. Congratulations. Malek Yeji. Congratulations. Ray Yim. Lohat Zacharias. Congratulations. Mzati Zarpita. Pro Vice-Chancellor, as public orator, may I present Bridget Toll, a candidate for an honorary degree. When Bridget Toll went to discuss her future with her headmistress towards the end of her time at school, she was told, not degree calibre, I'm afraid, Bridget. Bridget hadn't previously considered university, but she did then. 
she encountered similar resistance from her father, who saw it as her priority to go into the family business. And what could possibly be the use of a degree in politics, law and economics to someone managing a hosiery and knitwear business? Fortunately, Bridget was, and is, not the sort of person to be easily deterred. She got a place at Exeter University, and having completed her first degree, managed to stay on for a further year, despite being cut off from family financial support. She then spent a year teaching in Uganda with voluntary service overseas. The country made a great impression on her, and she has supported a school there ever since. Eventually, Bridget's escape from the family business had to end. For much of the last four centuries, Leicestershire has been famous for its hosiery industry. Tolls of Loughborough was founded in the late 19th century by Bridget's grandfather, a self-made man who started life as an apprentice in one of the many local factories. There was no boss's daughter favoritism for Bridget. She was expected to study textiles at Leicester Polytechnic, now De Montfort University, to take a course in management, to learn the ropes and gain experience in all aspects of the business. A little to her surprise, she found this rewarding, and her experience of working with the women and men employed by tolls was reflected in a lasting commitment to the welfare of the workforce. She eventually became joint managing director alongside her cousin. While he ran the production side, she focused on marketing and sales, negotiating with major retailers like Marks and Spencer, at the time a dominant force in the industry, whose contracts could make or break a company. Bridget was then one of only three women managing directors of public limited companies in the UK. But the industry was changing fast, undermined by cheap imports from the Far East. Hosiery firms all over the East Midlands were closing, and the painful decision was made to accept a bid for the company as a going concern in the hope of protecting a thousand jobs, at least for a time. Meanwhile, Bridget had been making an increasingly important contribution to girl guiding. She enjoyed being a guide herself, and had gone on to play a leading role, first locally and then nationally. And when there was a crisis at the top, Bridget was the obvious candidate to lead the movement as chief guide and chair of the country's largest voluntary youth organization. This was a position of international importance, taking Bridget all over the world and bringing her into contact with members of the royal family and international dignitaries. Her success in steering the organization through a period of change was reflected in the award of Charity Trustee of the Year in 2000 and her appointment as CBE in 2001. Lesser women might have rested on their laurels at this point, but that is not Bridget's way, fortunately for us. As she retired as chief guide, she joined the university as a lay member of our governing body, the council. These lay members are a vital component of the university's governance. They give their time and expertise voluntarily, and few, if any, over the last 100 years have contributed more than Bridget Toll. In 2009, she undertook the demanding additional role of treasurer of the university, and then in 2013, she was appointed pro-chancellor and chair of council a job which might loosely be described as the Vice-Chancellor's boss, not running the university, but making sure it is being well run, acting as guardian of its financial security and institutional reputation. As Treasurer, Bridget made full use of her business expertise. She was convinced that universities should be judged by their educational and research achievements, but knew that they had to be businesslike in their processes and management. She carried the same convictions to her role as chair of council. She understood the university as a community and appreciated the importance of reasoned argument and persuasion rather than diktat in bringing people on side. One mechanism for achieving this was meetings in the coffee shop with individual academics. 
This was also important because she never really had an office at the university, lest she be thought to be crossing the line from governance. As one of our colleagues has said, she must have been the only person who worked at the university three or four days a week and never had a place to hang her coat. She served with two vice-chancellors during periods when the university was under severe financial strain and quietly guided them towards sensible decisions. On the most serious issues, when it became apparent that persuasion alone was not sufficient, she had the courage to make hard decisions. It is no exaggeration to say that the university owes much of its current good health to the contribution of Bridget Toll over the past 20 years. This does not complete the list of Bridget's contributions to public life. To name only two, she is a Deputy Lieutenant of Leicestershire and has just completed a year as President of the Leicester Literary and Philosophical Society, the learned body whose advocacy led to the foundation of our university. Bridget's natural modesty makes her uncomfortable with praise, so listening to this speech may have been agonizing for her. She has been a model of leadership for women, and indeed for both sexes, in industry, the voluntary sector, and higher education. As a nation, the importance of integrity and selfless public service has been much on our minds of late. Bridget has exemplified those virtues in this university and in every other aspect of her career so it is unquestionably right to acknowledge her many achievements and to do that publicly, as we do today. Pro Vice-Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and the Council, I present Bridget Ellen Toll that you may confer on her the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws. Lord Mayor, honoured guests, graduates and members of the university. Firstly, I'd like to thank the university and especially the public orator. I'm not worthy of such flattery, but thank you. I'm honoured now to be a graduate of the University of Leicester to join all those celebrating their graduations who have worked hard for their degrees, which of course I have not. Today is your day, from edge to edge, and I want to congratulate all of you. This is a day to celebrate your achievements and enjoy the celebrations. It's been a long time coming for you. You have earned your degrees in the most difficult times. You've gained a special quality, resilience. You have kept going through COVID, through financial challenges, and passed a few exams too. You all have my admiration. You are capable and determined individuals. Individuals do make a difference. Look at the history of this university. Would there have been a University of Leicester if Dr. Astley Clark had not spent years advocating the idea amongst the decision makers of Leicester, if he had not given the first significant financial donation and encouraged others, what if Thomas Fielding Johnson 
a textile manufacturer, had not decided to buy and donate the land and hospital buildings as the home of the new university college. Those individual actions 100 years ago made a difference. Not every Midland city and town gained a university college at that time. Today, I'm sure there are many graduates here who want change in society, in communities, in their countries, and in the world. My generation has left plenty for you to do. Those individuals who have the vision, the energy, and the education will make change happen. You can be true citizens of change. I wish you every success. Pro Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the College of Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities, I, Professor Sally Kidd, present the following graduates for recognition of their awards. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law with a Year Abroad, Suad Abdul Qadir. <laughs> Daniel Adebayo. Sophia Adedoyin. <laughs> Emily Boyd. <laughs> Kenya Chandler Mullings. <laughs> Jennifer Frimpong. <laughs> Emma Groman. <laughs> Sophie Harris. Natalie Jolly, well done, Alina Malik, Maria Matushik, Lauren McArdle, well done, Ryan McGuinness, well done, Alicia Murphy. Monique Nemo. Well done. Kele Chukwu Nwa Chukwu. Congratulations, well done. Deborah Wanko. Wanko. Congratulations. Moyo Soreo Luwa O Wo Sheni Lawal. Emily Palmer. Well done, congratulations. Megan Paul Taylor. Well done, congratulations. Taya Rana. Congratulations. Eleni Stavru. Rebecca Stent. Rihanna Stevenson. Jamie Todd. Adam Tolfrey. Ijoma Williams Badejo. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law and Criminology, 
Sonia Culler. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law, Graduate Entry, Anioluwa Ayiliaka. Hazila Bana. Zen Clark. Ono Setali Se Ogbebo. Kanya Stoddard. Well done. Victoria Sweet. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law, JD Pathway, Dipana Devadas. Simranjit Dasunj. Uma Javed. Farman Khan. Adrian Kosal. Arjun Menon. Well done, congratulations. Amy Osman. Well done, congratulations. Jonah Rajkumar. Well done, congratulations. Rochelle Robinson. Well done, congratulations. Premo Singh. For the degree of Bachelor of, Bachelor of Laws in Law with a Modern Language, Ryan Alash Bili Shihab. Okay. Yaitha Areas Fernandez. Okay. Amina Marie Lagal. Well okay. Jessica Monday. Medina Rahman. Well done. Kelsey Reed Jones. Congratulations. Kamla Singh. Well done. Congratulations. Catherine Velasco Boyer. Well done. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law with Criminology, Elizabeth Adetunji. Kamei Alan Adu. Chloe Tuni. Well done, congratulations. Shanahan Henry. Belize Inan. Shannon King. Joseph Miles. Alicia Marok. Rhea Mystery. Amber Morris. Linda Namchi. Aisha Saeed. Charmaine Wilding. Georgia Wilkinson. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law with Criminology with a Year Abroad, Tessa Wheatley. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law with Politics, Mary Ansborough. Pedram Bani Asadi. Well Renee Bourne. Anissa Kapti. Well Chinzupe Piri. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Maitrise in Law, Maitrise, Lisa Bervillers. 
Congratulations. Well done. Oshoya Dani. Annalisa Lefay. Axel Legupil. Emma Levert. Marie-Lou Serna. Victoire Sineau. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Law, Eleanor Vence. For the degree of Master of Laws, Sarah Fenning. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law, Rochelle Anderson. Charlene Pascalachou. Chimere Weibu. Pavan Beer Sekon. Brenza Etze. Anas Ahmed. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law with a Modern Language, Mofe Alua Adefo Laju. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with a Year Abroad, Chantelle Uber. Uzochi Ihebuzo. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law, JD Path Pathway, Sinini Simbanda. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law, Sabah Kusar. Rhiannon Jenkins, President of the Students' Union, will now address the congregation. First of all, congratulations, you made it. It might be one or two years later than expected, but that just means you're owed an extra congratulations for surviving the graduate world under the toughest circumstances. Graduation is about a lot of things. The rite of passage, joining the alumni community, reuniting with friends and course mates. And it's also a chance to say thank you to those who supported you along the way. Your lecturers and tutors, family, friends, loved ones, whether they're sat in the audience or unable to be with us today for any reason, I can guarantee they're all so proud of the work and effort you've put in and are so glad that they were able to see you cross the stage. It's about remembering the moments that brought you here, from film nights in accommodation to sunbathing in Victoria Park, hours spent studying in the library, late nights and earlier mornings at Let's Disco, asking a mate to scan you into a lecture, absolutely destroying DMU at Varsity, rinsing Freshers' Fair for freebies even in your final year, joining pro bono, trying to suddenly figure out teams, or even worse, Blackboard Collaborate, and coming up with your own way to celebrate finishing your degree with back garden and campus photo shoots and ceremonies on Zoom. These are all of the moments of your university life that have built a foundation of good times to go forwards with, somewhere that you'll always be able to call home. Most importantly, though, today is all about you. It's about pausing and really celebrating your achievements, the hours of work you dedica dedicated to your degree, actually re finishing and receiving that certificate. You should, be so incredibly, you should be so incredibly proud of yourselves and take that pride forwards as you become alumni and officially graduates, ready to go out, face the world, and smash it. Once again, congratulations and enjoy the sunshine.
It's been a real privilege to stand here today and to congratulate you upon your successes. Each one of you, along with your loved ones supporting you today, has reason to be proud and to celebrate. This is a momentous day in your lives, a day of achievement and celebration, and also a day of transition, of more change in your lives, as you mark the end of one chapter and the start of a new one. I want to ask you now to cast your minds back to the time you first came to Leicester and to take a moment to reflect on how far you've come. Each of you has been on a remarkable journey, one that will have changed you, will have challenged you, and will have shaped your future life. I hope your time here has enriched you, not only through the education you've received, but also through the experiences you've had and the new perspectives you've gained. Over your time here, you will have met new people, experienced new situations, acquired new skills, and gained new knowledge. All of this adds up to so much more than a simple qualification. Please, use all of this experience, all of this knowledge as a bedrock, as a solid foundation for your future, one on which you can build and grow in whatever ways you choose. The future of work is changing, and I'm confident that each of you has the qualities that employers are looking for, like problem solving, critical thinking, creativity, innovation, and leadership. The past few years have challenged you and tested you. You're well equipped to face the future with confidence. You've shown that you have it in you to succeed. In your future lives, Please see yourselves as ambassadors of the University of Leicester and carry our values with you. Be inclusive, be inspiring, and be impactful. Please commit yourselves to being true citizens of change who help and empower other people. Finally, I have three things to ask of you as you make your way in life. Firstly, be ambitious. I believe that each of you is capable of far more than you realize. Today is the launch pad for your future success. Please, continue to strive for excellence and never settle for second best. Secondly, be curious. Life never stops teaching us new lessons. Please, keep that quest for knowledge alive as you acquire new skills and learn new things. Today doesn't mark the culmination of your learning. It represents a new beginning. And thirdly, be nice. Our success is defined by our compassion. We can't make progress as a society unless that progress is real for everyone. We're only as strong as those who are weakest in our society or our organization. You never know who or where a helping hand will come from in the future, so please treat others how you would want to be treated. Steve Jobs said, Technology is nothing. What's important is that you have faith in people, that they're basically good and smart, and if you give them tools, they'll do wonderful things with them. I strongly believe that we should see the best in everyone, that we should try to lift up the people around us rather than knocking them down. That's why I believe in an inclusive approach to education, breaking down barriers that prevent individuals from reaching their full potential. It's a lesson I hope you've also learned at Leicester. My message then to you is this. You're now in a privileged position, holding a degree from a world-class university. You'll have opportunities to advance your career, and in doing so, please help others along the way. Measure your success not simply by what you achieve for yourself, but by the good you do for others. Now, as the ceremony draws to its end, I'd like to invite my colleagues on the platform and your loved ones supporting you today to join me in a round of applause to celebrate your success.
And can I ask you, the graduating classes of 2020 and 2021, to show your appreciation for your tutors and for all of your friends and families and loved ones who've been part of your journey. <laughs> Today is about joy and celebration. Have a fantastic day, and please keep in touch with Lester. You have in us a friend for life. Thank you. <laughs> Graduates and guests, please be upstanding for the final time in this ceremony. Thank you. And now's your opportunity to really make some noise. Please, everybody join with me in congratulating our classes of 2020 and 2021. Thank you. I now declare this congregation closed. Please remain standing while the academic procession leaves the hall.